The first step, pour in the rice. The second step, cover the hopper. Check that the hopper is properly capped. Fasten the buckle inward. The third step, press the power button. The fourth step, first press the pause button and then press the reset button. The bottom of the screen shows that the reset is complete. The rice button can stop the rice in the rice bucket from working. Special note, all keys on the operation screen can be cancelled by pressing again. Press the automatic cycle function, no need to repeatedly press the pedal. The machine will also make rice skins repeatedly. The heater button on the upper right, after pressing the rice keeps warm at about 45 degrees. The machine can memorize three different custom modes. Click any program button and then click the adjustment panel button. You can adjust the thickness, density and length of the rice skin. Thickness button. Up and down can adjust the thickness and thinness of rice skin. Density button. You can adjust the tightness of the rice up and down. Length button. Up and down can adjust the length and shortness of rice. If you want to make two rice skins, press the adjust panel button. Press the two products button again. The machine can make two rice skin a row. I'm not angry anymore, just a little bit let down. When the machine fails, press the emergency stop button. Turn clockwise to release the emergency stop state. Then press the clear button and the machine can be used again. Press the discharge button. The rice will be automatically all discharged. Press the start button to start making rice flakes. The machine can make rice skins of different sizes. Spread the seaweed and add the ingredients. The sushi roll is ready.